Hello everyone, Ghost Gen 3 here. Uh, today we're going to show you this I know very well. This is the X26 Taser by the Taser Company. Um, this is it without the cartridge. And uh, this is one of the cartridges. This will go about uh, 21 feet. There's different types. Some will go 25 even. And uh, then you have the 10 foot and a training type one. Uh, this is Ben's right here. This right here in the front these two little metal parts right here are what you're going to see when um, you want to use what's called direct contact and it's on you put it against somebody and then they're going to feel it especially in uh, certain uh, vital areas in the body and this is obviously the cartridge now it's probably what you've seen uh, when you've seen these things the thing with uh, this I've used it many times uh, now that I'm retired but when I was active law enforcement and this thing is excellent it works great now like anything I love a saying that says anything electronic can and will fail yeah you can't rely on anything 100% but for the most part they did work and a lot of times psychology works great too and um, job, Eddie Page. <laughs> so anyways um, here's your here's uh, the amount of power percentages you have back here when you turn it on you have the ability to push this button right here to turn laser as a laser and light for those that you don't know uh, don't know this you can actually set it to have none just where it's stealth mode you'll turn it on they will not see the suspect or whatever you have will not see the laser or the light you can have it where it's just light only for some guys who just want the light it's not a powerful powerful light but good enough and uh, I mean normally you want to be like 10 feet from a suspect never let them get that close to you or home intruder or whoever you're going to use it on and you can have light laser you know in the daytime obviously the lights not that good but it's really simple to do you push this button it's going to give and then you raise the on button which is this or the on slide and it gives you this laser light right here you're looking at and all you do while it's off you push this it's going to give you uh, codes uh, like abbreviation um, lo for laser only off of so it's off then you can have a combination of laser and light um, so that's a great great thing about this. There's a new taser obviously and it has a different cartridge. You can shoot multiple cartridges. Uh, this thing runs about $900. I've had this for a while. Uh, like I said it works great. I thought I'd show you guys some inner workings of it. I'm going to do a, a later video at night and shoot it and you're going to I'm going to shoot it at a special target and it's going to be wrapped in a type of uh, metallic so you're going to see the electricity going off. So you can see in the day but it'll come out better at nighttime. And uh, anyways, one of the things with this, especially if you're any kind of security or law enforcement or, or whatever, you're carrying like a belt and you have a gun on one side, you're right-handed, you carry this on the left. Is that 100% law? No. Uh, what's happened in the past is law enforcement officers accidentally, just that instinct would, if you're right-handed, you're grabbing this, it's on your right side, and or vice versa, you think you're grabbing a taser and you're, I mean a taser and you're grabbing a real gun. It's sad there's been, uh, unfortunately, bad tactics like that but um, what many do now is they either carry cross sided on your left and I'm saying that example if you're a right handed person on your Sam Brown belt web gear or whatever type belt you're wearing or even like this I carried both um, I was able to train with this and learn how to shoot with my left when this laser is on here's something for everybody to know when you put this laser on uh, your suspect or intruder whoever it is a bad guy or girl when that laser hits that person uh, preferably in a chest or somewhere muscle area here's the way you want to think about it with that laser this dart right here when this shoots it's going to shoot the first dart it's up and down kind of like an over under shotgun so your dart is here and your dart is here and your first dart is going to hit exactly where that laser is at your second dart is going to hit about 10 12 degrees under so depending on distance if it's 10 feet you're going to have them about this much apart maybe that's 10 inches or something like that so that's important to remember because if you put that just always remember that wherever that laser is your top dart hits there first well not first simultaneously but what it what it does is uh, when that laser hits here if this is your target here and that laser it's here your first top dart is there and your bottom one's down here so always remember that and that way you'll know it you're not going to be shooting gangster style like this you'll miss your target guaranteed you might as well just give the, the suspect uh, a chance to kill you hurt you or do whatever they're going to do always do it this way now it, can you take this off like uh, if you shoot them with this uh, once it's on for this one the x26 it's gonna say five seconds on 
then you can turn it on like this, the back off and back on, and do another one. So basically, if you're doing a direct contact like this, that's what you're going to hear and that's what you're going to see. And uh, it's kind of a psychological noise. There are some people who don't, don't give a shit. Well, hey, more part two, they deserve to get blasted one of these if you're that stupid. Um, I've been tested one of these, I was an instructor in it, and holy moly, I've been darted with it. Yeah, it, it's not the greatest feeling. Um, did it knock me out? No. Um, it doesn't knock you out like maybe you see in movies or something like that. If you were to use this on the carotid, on the neck, or certain areas like that, maybe the groin, and direct contact, yeah, they, they might pass out after that because it's going to disrupt that flow uh, there, not just the blood flow, but obviously those areas are more dangerous. And, you know, if it's a life and death situation, I can't tell you what to do, but you know what, you should know what to do or have an idea. These things are obviously not meant to kill, but can they? Well, not, you know, people on drugs, hey, it's, if someone's doing something to you they shouldn't do, they're in your house, they're trying to hurt you, well, if they die, that's on them. I mean, yeah, you're going to deal with the courts and all that and the law enforcement, but my point is, you know, a lot of these criminals are on drugs. Maybe they have heart problems. You don't know this. You're trying to protect yourself. So for the most part, these things you know, will help uh, convince somebody to stop doing what they're doing and keep them there. For the civilians, the X-26C, you know, will have a C here. It's pretty much the same thing, but in my opinion, a little better. Once you fire this dart in them, or this, preferably the darts, into the, the, the bad person, you leave it on. You're, you're, you push, they pull that trigger. You got nice 30 seconds that this guy's doing the, the, the dancing chicken on the ground. And, um, or he will be on the ground. So, where these are five seconds and then we do another five if needed with verbal orders. You know, when you use one of these, you get a chance, give them orders. Stay down, stay down. Don't move again. Remember, criminal lies. If they want to move again, blast them another one. Keep doing it. Call 911, of course, and that kind of thing. I'm not going to go into those areas now, maybe on another video. But here I'm just to show you what this does. And it's very effective. Like I said, nothing's 100%. But I have had one time at a suspect, I shot this. And the dart, instead of going exactly like I told you, one's right where the laser, the top laser is, and, and about 10 inches, you know, 10, 12 degrees below. Well, I saw it. And the top dart actually went to the left, hit a tree next to the suspect, and the bottom one hit his leg. So that was the cartridge's fault. Maybe that one in a million, I guess. Uh, very strange, but I actually got to see it as it went out of uh, the cartridge itself. That was really weird. And I documented that. It never happened to me again. So what I did is I loaded up another one and then got the suspect, took him down, and that worked out great. A lot of times it's direct contact, bam, straight down, you pull, you keep it in there deep. Don't feel like, oh my God, I'm hurting them. They're there to do something to you. That's the reason these things exist, and you're not trying to kill them. But this constricts your muscles from head to toe. I mean, it, if you haven't felt it, it's unreal. And some of you probably did it playing around, which I hope you don't. Try to be professionals. But unless you're doing some testing, Hey, really light? No. You, you're going to test? You test and do it. You'll see the full effect. I mean, one second feels like a lifetime, let alone five. Imagine this uh, X-26 civilian. That's 30 seconds. So um, once you turn it on, fire it, and put on that person, that's 30 seconds of just love. And uh, that, I don't even want to imagine that. I've done five seconds, and that's that felt like 10 lifetimes to me. And I have a high pain tolerance. Anyways, uh, here's one thing I was going to show you. Very few people get to see what's inside this cartridge, and I saved some. I use this uh, when I'm showing someone or training people. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. These are your wires. They can break. Uh, for the most part, I never had that problem. This is what it looks like when it's been fired, then darts have been out. You know, it's interesting. There's a lot of wire. Like, see, this one's a 21 footer. There is a 25 foot one as well. Um, these things go about maybe. I think 25, something like that, depending where you get them. Uh, the cartridge is not cheap. So, anyways, but that's what it looks like in all this wire. This wire will be right behind. And uh, just in a, an effective tool. Now, here are the darts. Here's what they look like. I'm going to take them out so you can see them. I have them in this little test tube just uh, so they don't uh, poke me or anyone else on accident. These are the darts that land in your body. Yeah, they're about one inch, a little over an inch, just a little over an inch and a half. And I'm just talking the tubular part, not even the dart. If you can see this dart, it has like a harpoon. It looks like a miniature harpoon. You see that right there? I'm gonna turn it all the way so you can take a good look. 
Yeah, so they meant to stay in there. I mean, you can pull them out. I've done it. And uh, I've seen the doctors do it in the ER as well. Here's the other one. There's that little barb. These things are really pointy sharp. So I would say from here to here, it's about an inch and a half. Uh, they're very light. Here's where the wires were connected, as you can tell. I cut them, of course, as I saved this so I can do it for training purposes. And this is like an aluminum or something like that. But this, this is what these babies look like. I mean, this is not some little toy that <laughs> doesn't do nothing to you. It, it, it kicks some ass. So let's say I'm going to shove this. This is a rubber cap. I'm just shoving it not past the barb so I can get it out. I mean, these things hit with force. I've been hit with them and trained in my back. And wow. I mean, that's just, if you're stupid enough and there's plenty of people, trust me, you tell them, I'm going to tase you, cooperate, and they decide to curse you out and come and attack you forward. Or start doing the, the monkey dance and the fists and everything else. Well, you deserve it. I mean, a smart person, hey, take me in. It's less charges. Now you're going <clears> to <throat> try to attack law enforcement or whoever, or even a civilian. You know, if they want, if they're showing that much aggression, hey, give them what they want. That's what they're going to get. That's what they deserve, plain and simple. You know, it's, it's pretty simple to figure out. These people, if they're criminals, they're liars. They're cons. You know, nobody should be in your house except your family, your loved ones, your pet dog, cockroach, whatever it is. And if it's someone not, then like I said, this is effective. I would have a gun personally as well, but if you're able to, great. Um, some people have asked me, and I'll do another video on it maybe, um, oh my god, against knives. Well, yeah, I would use it quick. Would I bother giving a lot of orders? No, because if they have a knife and say they're in your house, and I'm just giving an example, I look at it this way, you mean to use that knife against me. Uh, a lot of people die of knife wounds than probably more than gunshots, and knives are brutal. They can do some serious, serious damage, and um, why would you wait? If they're holding a knife, and, uh, screw it. You put that on, especially if they're in your house or something like that, it's on. If you're going to use this, do it. But I would have a backup handgun, obviously, and uh, train with these. I mean, you're not going to be able to shoot the cartridges all the time. They're not cheap. But, you know, once or twice, not bad to do. And um, But it's the same as training with a gun. You treat it as a gun. Point in a safe direction. Point at buddies and play around like I've seen in some videos at times in the past, which is absolutely, really pisses me off. It's unprofessional. It's stupid. You develop bad habits by doing these things. And uh, if you act professional with this, you're safer with it. Your kids are safer with everyone else. Get them to know this kind of stuff. Only you can de you can determine what their good ages would be to use something like this. But this can be dangerous. I mean, there was an officer once an article that um, I don't remember how the whole story happened, but she got shot with one of these darts in the eye. Oh, it was in training. That's what it was back east. And one of these hit her eye. She lost that eye. She lived, but she lost that eye. So these things can be dangerous. Um, can you can they use be used that way in some kind of different emerging scenario of course anything can be you know I can't sit here and guess a thousand scenarios for you you know you're gonna have to guess the best thing but like I said they're really good I can't wait to do the video maybe I'll do it tonight you guys will get to see the electricity and everything this is not like a stun gun stun guns don't knock you out either I know some people think some I have I have them they're good psychological but the problem with stun gun too is you have to get up close to them and that can be a little difficult you got someone really violent if you put it in the neck in the carotid area or something like that, oh yeah, the groin or, you know, um, the woman's breast or something, something where there's going to be pain, yeah. But in my experience, I've not seen people knock out. Do some people knock out? Yeah, but that's the person, not so much the device or the tool you're using. Um, I've seen stun guns just piss people off. I've seen a few guys that could take this and they kept taking it. I mean, I had to keep tasing them and, and turn it on and off and give them another five second blast. So there are people that can but this does not feel like a stun gun. A stun gun would feel more of an electricity shot. If I got, if I did a stun gun, if this was a stun gun, and I just stunned right here, that's where you're going to feel the pain, or on the stun, wherever it is, just that little immediate area. It's not going to be everywhere else. If you use this, the X26 taser, or the M26, the former one, you know, any of these tasers, it's completely different. Um, you don't feel like a jolt of electricity. You just feel your muscles constricting like they're going to pop. And it's not just in that area. If I were to do this right here on a person, you don't just feel it right here. You're going to feel it from this finger down to your toes to your head. I mean, it, it's that, for those of you who have never felt it and <laughs> don't want to, and I don't blame you, you don't want to even go there. But it, it's, a, it's a really, really uh, excellent tool. Um, don't believe all these stories in the media all the time. Oh, the police killed somebody, the taser. You know what? Sometimes people have had 
if you're a criminal, you got heart problems, my God, you, you're you that stupid? You're running your adrenaline? You're going to fight somebody, the clerk guy, the cops, whoever it is? Well, you're probably going to have a heart attack and die. If it's some uh, ailment you have and you don't know you're a criminal, well, that's your loss. You're stupid. You shouldn't, shouldn't be committing crimes. So can you afford to be, stand there and say, oh, my God, maybe they have uh, allergies or disease and I don't want to kill them? Well, what do you think they're going to do to you? If this, and I'm talking if they're in your house. When someone's in your house, don't assume they're there to burglarize. They're there to do some kind of crime. Maybe they're just there to burglarize, but a lot of times what happens, they see a female, guess what? Their mind's just changed, or a kid. So don't tunnel vision your thinking and your tactics. Someone's in your house. I'm not saying everyone's out to kill you, but it is obviously a, definitely a bad thing. And God knows where it can go from there. I mean, you could be kidnapped. I mean, the list goes on. So your thing is to stop that person from hurting you. If you can lock yourself in a room, great. Call 911. Have them on their way. You got to take action before they get there. Or if you can't call 911, then take care of business. Because this person is not there to have lunch and meet you and talk with you. You know, God knows what they are, what their motives are. You don't know till maybe later on, if at all that. So if they run away, great. But uh, anyway, so there's a... Uh, Oh, I wanted to show you one, a couple other things. This is another holster. There's many holsters for this, from Kydex type. Uh, this is just an expensive one, $20-$25. Uh, I forget the website where you can get these, but you can see them. This is Tag, Tactical Assault Gear. Now this is just a nylon type. It'll go on any belt. This is just for quick. Put it on. I like to keep it in there when I'm at home. It's kind of like by my gun, where uh, on a different area. And it just, I just store it like this. I mean, it's just, it's a good holster. And if I ever need to slap it on my belt, I don't have to take the belt off, Velcro. It's just for a quick emergency use. This is elastic right here, these two parts. Pull up, out, and you're good to go. You're ready to rock and roll with this baby. So that's just what this one is for. You can find many types of uses for it. And um, for law enforcement, you know, you would use obviously a different one where they can't pull this off. So. Uh, this was never an on-duty use thing. This is like for home protection and, you know, that kind of stuff or just some training. This is really cool. I love this one. Um, matches some other things. This is an ankle holster. And this one is actually made for the X26. And this one's by DeSantis. They make really good holsters. And not exactly the cheapest, but um, sometimes you can get good deals. And this has nice sheep here. They call it sheep. I don't know if it's really sheep stuff, but whatever it is, is really fuzzy. I, I pass out if I fall asleep on this thing and uh, wraps around your ankle really well this stretches and uh, the velcro is very strong I've had this for God knows 10 years or more um, this holster came just with this open in the bottom see this right here I had someone sew and cover this because one time the cartridge came out however it came out just look it doesn't take much you squeeze it and it comes out well I think they make awesome holsters, don't get me wrong, but I also thought, wow, they should have thought of that, but they're holster makers, not, you know, weapon designers and all that, or no tactics and stuff, but anyways, this is how this fits right in, you can adjust this, this is Velcro, so the length, so you can make it easier to um, unsnap, so when this is on your leg, you know, you're going to just unsnap it and pull it out, and it's really simple. This holster, like I said, I love, it's quick, it's easy, it's on my ankle, and, um, Sometimes I'm sitting at home and I forgot it's, you almost forget it's there. I mean, it's just so comfortable. But like I said, with this covering, you know, I knew someone that knows how to sew and they did that and I felt safer about that. It, you know, it's not going to go all the way through, nothing like that. Like it's just that one time that cartridge kind of came out for whatever reason, since this holster came with an opening here. Um, wow. And that always bugged me, so I'm glad I had that done. So other than that, I have no complaints on this holster. You know, this was my leg right here. You know, here's your ankle. And this is the way it looks. And I'm telling you, it's. I've had other buddies with other ankle holsters. They're, to me, they weren't comfortable. And But to each his own. Uh, the holsters that have this kind of stuff, I mean, look at this. And every now and then I move it because, you know, if you use it a lot, you want it to just stay kind of fluffy, not flat, getting used to your uh, ankle being on there kind of snug. So, great holster. I mean, if you can get something like this and you want that, it's... Awesome. Now the laws, I'm not going to sit here and go through all the laws, depending on your state. Uh, of course, you know, courthouses, unless you're law enforcement, you can't go with it on airports, you know, there's different ways. Um, but 
most states from what I've seen you can do the uh, research you can carry these and like I said they even have a smaller they have all kinds of types of tasers uh, smaller ones civilians everything else they're pretty much all the same except for different sizes the models and the cycles that it's going to use this is a five second cycle uh, and the cycle is basically how long it's going to go when you're using it when you turn that on if I pull this trigger and leave it on it's going to be five seconds and if I want it again I pull it again the civilian X26C is going to be 30 seconds that's some serious serious uh, torture there huh so but anyways that's uh, the video on this I hope you liked it if you got questions feel free and uh, this thing I know extremely well so I can answer a lot of your questions if I don't know it I'll tell you I don't know it um, but anyways now that you got to see the insides of this and what it looks like and uh, it's a really good uh, really good tool so anyways <coughs> those are holsters many types of holsters out there just to each his own so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope uh, any of you have this, uh, get some good use out of it. <laughs> and uh, take care. God bless.